Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is August 20th, 2020, and uh, what I want to talk to you about today is the Kramer series of celosia. Now this is a crested type celosia, also known as uh, coxcombs. And um, I'm going to be discussing this variety. It comes in three different colors. It comes in a rose, it comes in a lemon lime, and it comes in a burgundy. So all that is coming up in today's episode, so please stay tuned. So uh, this one here is uh, the Kramer's Burgundy, and uh, these are uh, crested type celosia, and uh, the blooms on these get about two to six inches across. Now, um, you can see here about how large that this one here got. Now, I've had these get bigger than this already. Um, this is kind of small compared to how large um, I've had these produce blooms for me already. And over here, I can get it here. This one here is the uh, lemon lime series here of the Kramers. And then this one here is uh, the Rose Kramers here. So this is the rose colored in that series. And uh, these plants get about 30 to 36 inches tall. So um, they are a very heavy blooming and very heavy branching plant even um, when you don't pinch them. Uh, some of the Celosia varieties they recommend that you pinch them. Um, now this is one that they do recommend that you pinch, but um, I did not pinch mine, and you can see here how much they're branching off. So these are branching off here, and then back here, there's a whole bunch more branches coming off of this one main stalk here. Now these bloom in about 90 to 120 days from um, sowing the seeds. So what I did with these is I direct seeded them in their containers. Now um, what you can choose to do is um, if you direct seed them in, you'll get rid of that transplanting time. Because if you transplant your plants, it's going to set them back for blooming. So then um, when you transplant your plants, you're going to have to wait about 90 to 120 days for them to bloom. So, um, if they're already blooming when you transplant them, then um, they'll continue to bloom for you. But if they're not blooming when you transplant them, then you're going to have to wait for them to bloom. And you can see here, um, like this one here is one of the main stalks here. Um, over here is another main stalk here. This one's a little bit different shaped. And you can see this is one of the branches off of the main plant. And this bloom here, it's a little bit smaller, but um, these are still great for uh, cut flowers and bouquets. So you can see here, this plant here is just branching off with all kind of little mini um, flowers here. Here's some more down here. So if you've never tried the Kramer's series of uh, Crested Celosia, I do recommend it. Um, it's one of my favorite varieties to grow. I've been growing it for probably about four years now. And uh, it's one that I continue to grow. Now one thing that I do with these plants is I do keep the soil moist. You want to keep your soil moist but not soggy. Um, especially if you have like your seedlings. If you let them go dry, uh, it can cause premature flowering and uh, you'll have really small blooms out of them. So, um, and I do also water these like in the morning. Now if I have one that's wilting in the late afternoon because um, it got dry because it got so hot, I do give it some water but um, you want to try and keep it off the leaves to uh, help prevent um, the leaf spots that they can get on their leaves. And uh, I do have videos on my channel for how I start my celosia from seed, so you can check those out. 
and uh, the Kramer series is an heirloom variety open pollinated so you can collect the seeds off of it providing that you're not growing another variety of celosia that would uh, cross that would cross to uh, you want to keep your seeds pure when you're growing them for seed saving and uh, you can grow this in containers you can also grow it in the ground um, you just want to make sure that your soil is well drained wherever you uh, choose to grow this particular variety wherever you choose to grow your celosia at uh, celosia doesn't like what they call wet feet it doesn't like to be standing in water but um, it does like moist soil and uh, celosia is great for attracting butterflies um, the bees love to uh, come to celosia for uh, the pollen it's a very unique plant um, it's one that I like to grow the blooms on these kind of remind me of like a, a paintbrush for this particular variety like one of the larger size paintbrushes but um, it can also remind you of like coral reefs and uh, they do call them um, another name for uh, celosia crested is um, coxcombs because they kind of resemble like the coxcomb of a rooster and some people describe them as coral reefs because they do kind of look like the coral reef like from the ocean so if you like my video please like comment subscribe Please don't forget to hit the little notification button that will tell you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I'll have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a nice day. Bye!